Yeah, I see that right in the uh, that yellow trapezoidal box, just under the uh, the tornado warning box. And yeah, that's very indicative of a uh, of rotation. It looks so pretty, Dale. Well, these are the kinds of things that uh, when we're when we're doing this kind of stuff, you know, we kind of that's why I have several different uh, types up to kind of look at what's going on. So uh, it's just something to look at, look forward to, or look for when you're doing the net control. And uh, even though we don't have anything like that headed in our direction, we, the northern parts of Michigan are experiencing some uh, some severe weather. And uh, I just wanted to kind of teach you a little bit about what kind of things to kind of look out for. Now, the velocity, is that the one where the red is going away and green is going towards? Yeah, that's the one that shows the directions uh, of the storms and which way they're going. And that, that they're showing that there is, uh, you know, the red going one way and the green going another, which which indicates rotation. So there's other weather uh, radar sites you can look at as well. You can go to uh, Weather Underground, and they'll show different ones as well. But uh, the National Weather Service is obviously the official one, and uh, that's a when we had those tornadoes back uh, last year. Oh, just got another text page from the National Weather Service. But, uh, you know, there was quite a few of those that night. Just wanted to, just wanted you to see that. Well, thank you for giving me a heads up on that. The, uh, the system that's currently in Sheboygan, I think, will probably be here by about five or six. And that's the one I think is going to give us some grief. Actually, if you uh, if you scroll down that weather map down to uh, towards the bottom, and you'll see a bunch of little squares. If you click on the top roll, second from the last, that's the one for our area. So it's a regional uh, sectors. And uh, if you look. The storms that are coming out of Wisconsin and just now entering the Lake Michigan, uh, those are the ones that are headed in our direction, and those are the ones we got to keep an eye on. Weather watch condition green. June 40 p.m. So, if the velocity is the direction of the wind and the reflective is the um, basically the intensity, if you will, how thick the storm is and how much, uh, I guess, when a radar is bouncing on it and bouncing off, it's the, what is the easiest to bounce on would be the lightest, something like that. So but the reflectivity would be would be the intensity. Is that not correct? Yeah, it's the top. They're 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 taller. The the re reflectivity is um, the, the if you look on the side, they got the uh, little bar graph there. Kind of the bar graph is vertical, has different colors in it, and that that's uh, that's the intensity, like you say, or the the height of the storm, which gives it more intensity. So. Uh, yeah, so one kind of gives you the intensity in the in the water, and then the other one gives you the uh, actual rotation and, and directions at which the, the systems are moving. You know, so I will try to plan on, uh, I would say that system that's over Lake Michigan right now, coming out of Sheboygan, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, um, I would I would guesstimate that that system is going to be in Lansing probably by about uh, four, maybe four thirty. So as soon as that system hits Lansing, that I'm going to head up to County unless unless you want me up there earlier. Fine. 
if you if you want to go to county today, that's uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, when it gets into the next county there. Uh, now you're talking about Sheboygan, Wisconsin, not Sheboygan, Michigan, correct? Are we looking at the same place? Yeah, in between Sheboygan and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, some of it's over Lake Michigan, but most of it's coming right out of, uh, right in between Sheboygan, Milwaukee, right in there. And it's headed right towards Muskegon, and Grand Rapids. And that's the system that's gonna, probably gonna hit us direct. So, yeah, I'll plan on as soon as that system heads into, uh, Ingham, um, Ingham, Ionia County, then I, I will head up the county. Unless, uh, unless you need me up there sooner than that. So just give me a shout or a text once, uh, once you need me to head up there. KF8 UI. Gotcha, Clay. Yeah, they just issued a tornado warning for Bay County, too. Just, uh, just so everybody knows, a tornado warning for Bay County. Go ahead, Clay. That's exactly what I was just getting ready to tell you. I have been hopping all for about the last two and a half hours northern part of the state is getting hammered big time. Um, and I was just getting ready to tell you about Bay County, so uh, you already have it. Um, I will be around. If I can get freed up, I'll uh, check in and uh, and keep you guys up to date on what I am getting from another source. So, anyways, uh, another source that is a little quicker, you'll, you'll get it, but you'll get it uh, a couple minutes later than what I can get it. So, um, anyways, KFA UA. Okay, Clay, I would appreciate it. Just so everybody knows, we're in a condition standby at this time. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 p.m. tonight, and it pretty much covers Michigan, <laughs> or at least. Uh, all of the CWA of Detroit Pontiac. So uh, we will be watching this. We are having uh, several tornado warnings already issued this afternoon in the northern parts of Michigan. The latest one has been issued for the Bay County area. There are some storms, as we have been discussing, coming across the Great Lakes from Wisconsin that appear to be headed in our direction, and we will be continuing the monitoring of these storms. This is KC8ZXF. Hey Dale, when you get a chance, can you give me a TX please? I can do that uh, right now while things are kind of calm. KC8ZXF. Hey, are you monitoring from uh, downstairs? Weather watch condition green. 2.45 p.m. KD8BUI from KC8ZXF. or not, but the Lansing area, quite a few counties, in fact, uh, looks like uh, four counties have been issued a severe thunderstorm warning. These storms are headed directly in in our area, into our area, mostly it looks like uh, the southern part of the county. Uh, some of them coming right down I-69. Um, you feel that uh, you might want to head to uh, 911 or, or no? Yeah, I can head up there in about... Uh be up there probably by uh, about a quarter to four, maybe a little short than that. But uh, I'll, I'll start heading up there right now. Okay. I don't know if they're going to continue in strength, but they issued uh, pretty much uh, warnings for four counties. Uh, the storms are moving uh, pretty much east, uh, but it looks like they could. Uh, uh, be heading into the county. I don't know if they're going to continue the warnings as they come across or not, but we might as well be prepared. KCZXF. Roger that. Kitty 8 vui I'll be uh, back on the radio about 10-15 uh, minutes. VUI, 
Net 
Operation. Go ahead, Chris. This is King at DMB. The National Weather Service in Detroit Pontiac has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Genesee County, northern Livingston County, and southern Shiawassee County in southeast Michigan until 4.30 p.m. At 3.32 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located seven miles northwest of Fowlerville and moving east at 30 miles per hour. Main hazards are ping pong ball size hail and wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. The severe thunderstorm will be near Cohocta and Oak Grove around 350, Byron around 355, Gaines and Deerfield Township around 4 p.m., Argentine around 405, K-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-H-C-
Thank you. KCGXO. Just confirming where we're at. County net control for Genesee County Skywarn. I have read a statement here that severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for northern Livingston and southeastern Genesee counties until 4.30. At 4.08, the severe thunderstorm was located near Oak Grove and moving east at 30 miles per hour. The hazards are ping pong size hail and 60 mile an hour wind gusts. The source's radar indicated. The severe thunderstorm will be near Tyrone Township and Heartland around 420, Fenton around 425. Uh, this warning includes the areas surrounding these locations, Oak Grove, Fowlerville, Linden, Fenton, Heartland, and Cahokta. So we are still under severe thunderstorm warning for the southern part of Genesee County. All stations be aware of this and report any damage. KC8ZXF. Severe weather net. 4.18 p.m. GMM to net control. GMM, go ahead. Yeah, Dale, this is Robert. I was just wondering, uh, I just got out of work and I uh, was listening a little bit. Uh, you taking check-ins right now? Just the standard check-ins? No, I'll take them after the warning is dropped. Right now we're looking for reports in the southern part of the county. Roger, copy that. I'll be in the uh, Grand Blank area, my uh, my home uh, 58 here. Copy that. The storm will be heading uh, south of you a little bit, but it could be in your area. So heads up and keep your eyes open and report anything uh, severe. KC8ZXF, Genesee County Skywarn. Uh, well, close. 
I'm watching the radar and the warning popped up for the northern part of Saginaw County. The actual cell that uh, Gary is looking at is at the southern part of Saginaw County. They did not issue a warning for that storm, uh, but that is the storm that Gary could see from his location at Dalton Airport. Uh, for what they're issuing the warning for in northern Saginaw County is coming from the Mount Pleasant Midland area and is moving in a south east direction to northern Saginaw County. Uh, at this time, we still are under a warning for the next couple of minutes for Genesee County. As soon as I get a confirmation that they drop that warning, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take check-ins for uh, for this last activation. There will be more as I'm watching the radar. There will be several more, I think, as this evening progresses. Casey, the extra. Severe weather net. 4.33 p.m. Okay, it's, I see, I got a statement here, but I can't seem to get it to open. Yeah, 
very noisy. But uh, yeah, that part of the county over there in Forest Township, Otisville area, heads up. Uh, looks like uh, there could be some real good significant winds in that area. Also, the two storms that I mentioned that were going into Mount Rose are also being warned for. KC8ZXF. Go ahead, Tony. 
Yeah, two things, uh, probably an 8 inch tree limb down, um, well it's actually the right, the whole tree down, um, be the 13,000 block of stake, and then are they going to tell the fire department out for that other one, Tim? Well, yeah, go ahead, Tim, uh, 911, go ahead, go direct with WACCT Tony out there in Otisville. Go ahead, CCT. Hey, I was just wondering, are they going to tone the department out on that one, or? Severe weather, net. 5.19 p.m. Uh, County Max Control. Go ahead, County. We're getting uh, reports of substantial damage from uh, uh, Saginaw and Lake Road in Vienna Township. Uh, repeat. Nine one's receiving calls of substantial damage in Vienna Township, mostly in the area of Saginaw and Lake Road. Saginaw and Lake Road. Okay. Do we uh, have any operators in the area of Saginaw and Lake Road? to uh, confirm any damage reports. Also, WACCT wondered if 911 was going to for tone out Forest Township for the tree damage. Negative. It was uh, moved by a citizen. No hazard. Copy that. What kind of damage are we looking at in the Clio area where, where you just mentioned? What kind of damage? Are we talking tree damage, house damage? Barn damage, what kind of damage significantly was happening in the, in the bio area there, Lake Road area? All right, this was per an officer on scene requesting the fire department. We were waiting for further information. Okay, and the uh, lake and what was the road? Lake and what? Lake and Saginaw, Vienna Township. Okay, when you find out what kind of damage it is, uh, whether it be structural or, or uh, other, uh, please let us know right away. KC8ZX, all stations, we are still under a con under condition yellow. We have a severe thunderstorm warning. Obviously, we are having some damage reports in the northern part of the county. Uh, Saginaw Lake Road is reporting uh, damage, but we don't know as of what kind it is at this point. KC8ZX, Just 
west or east, yeah, west of I-75, just in the uh, county line. There should be a very strong wind coming through that area. KC-8 ZXF. Severe weather net. 5.26 p.m. Right now, at 521, severe thunderstorms were located along the line extending from Frankenmuth to Mount Rose. This is the storm that I just told you about that i seen a very significant amount of wind or a microburst. It is moving at 45 miles an hour. The hazard is 60 mile an hour wind gust and quarter size hail. The hail damage to vehicles to be expected and expect damage to roofs, sidings, and trees. The thunderstorms will be near Thetford Township and Clio around 530, Otisville and Mount Morris around 535. Genesee County, or Genesee, around 5.40, Davidson and Swords Creek, around 5.45, Burton, about 5.50, Atlas, around 5.55. This is the storm that I was just mentioning, that uh, reflective radar is showing uh, a very significant amount of wind in, uh, in a storm. KC-ZXF, we are still under another warning until 6.30. KC-ZXF, Genesee County, Sky Warning. County to 911, or uh, <laughs> net control to 911. Go ahead, Nat. I'll let your supervisor know that the uh, that storm that I was just mentioning that was heading into the Mount Morris or Mount Rose Clio area has just been warned again. I know that he's got uh, police and fire out there on Lake and Saginaw. They may want to let them know if they haven't already. KCZXO. CMBNS. B&B, go ahead. This fire is going to be clear of the on lake, which is the cable line. Um, I do got, uh, looks like, uh, straight line wind damage up here. I'll take and uh, give you the report here after the warning drops. Okay, and bump your power up to if you can. KC-8 ZXF. Go ahead. 14370 North Irish Road, head inch diameter tree lift, snapped off about uh, our tree, snapped off about five feet up. 14370, uh, what road and the size of the tree again, please? I can't write that fast. North Irish, 14370, North Irish, across the street from, and then a uh, 10 inch diameter tree, and it was. Uh, about five or six feet up is where it was snapped off at. Okay, 14 inch diameter tree, got that. 10 inch diameter tree, 14,000 block Irish. 10 inch diameter tree, sorry, got that, thank you. And it is, is it blocking the roads? Negative. Sorry, I must have keyed with you, go again. No sir, no it's not. Copy that, thank you. KC8 ZXF, Genesee County Skyline. CD8 BMB. BMB, go ahead. Saginaw and Willard, Saginaw and Willard at the county line. Got uh, estimated wind gusts between 60 and 65 miles an hour. Um, can't even keep the car on the road. Um, got a lot of straight line winds up here right now. Saginaw and Willard, Saginaw and Willard, 60 to 65 mile an hour estimated winds, correct? Straight line? That's correct. At the county line, we got uh, heavy straight line winds right now. That's what I thought. Okay, uh, keep yourself safe and uh, report any damage. Uh, county, did you copy that? Roger that, 60 to 65 miles per hour estimated winds, uh, Saginaw and Willard, county line. Copy that, KC-8 ZXF. Severe weather net. 5.33 p.m. B&B, uh, B &B, go ahead. Yeah, I'll give you that report here real quick. Yeah, Saginaw Lake, 
uh, multiple tree limbs down, uh, approximately four to eight inches in diameter. Looks like it was all straight line wind damage. Okay, and this is the uh, this is the one that the 911 police officer reporter reported to 911 from a police officer of significant damage. Yeah, that's correct. It was only spread between uh, about four or five houses uh, between the trees, but nothing significant. Copy that. Thank you for your report. Be advised, there are several storms training in that area. Uh, it's going to be like one after another, and they are mostly showing uh, mesocyclone or rotating uh, uh, indicators on the one website that I'm looking at. The rest of them, I see uh, quite a quite a heavy, strong downpour. Looks like of rain, uh, but I have not heard of any flooding yet. KC8ZXF, Genesee County, Skywarn. Severe weather net. 5:43 p.m. KC8ZXF. Go ahead, DUP, this is KCA ZXO. Uh, I'm in uh, Flint Township, uh, Miami City location, and I'm uh, getting wind. They're probably 35 miles an hour and higher, and I'm starting to get a lot of scud coming in from uh flushing area, so I wouldn't be surprised if somebody said something about that. Okay, copy that. Thanks for your report. Uh, I am seeing a storm. So these storms are coming from the northeast and moving in a southwest, or excuse me, coming from the northwest, moving in a southeast direction. So uh, they are coming in through the Mount Morris flushing area and then headed down. And the wind just started picking up here at the house. KC, ZXF, Tennessee County, night, that control. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, you can check me out with uh, KC, DES as well. In that. BMZ, go ahead. Uh, that uh, edge of the system, the shelf out, is going to over uh, Flint Township. Uh, in Flushing, we are seeing winds, uh, not measuring them, but they're close to 50 mile an hour. Uh, and uh, they will be hitting over there too. JD, BMZ. Look at that, you're confirming the uh, 50 mile an hour wind. Uh, in the Flushing Flint Township area. Uh, copy that and appreciate your report. Um, also, 911, are you copying these reports? Roger that. Thank you very much. KC ZXF, Genesee County Skywarn. BMB on that. Go ahead, BMB. I'm 57 in Irish right now. Uh, it's probably the same storm that I was just following, but I got estimated 60 mile an hour wind gusts and tree branches and uh, nothing of any significant diameter all across 57. So uh, right along, all right on down uh, M57, you have uh, multiple trees and branches down and estimated of 60 mile an hour winds. Is that report correct? Yeah, I got two to three inch tree uh, diameter tree limbs down here all across 57. Okay, are they causing, uh, are they going to cause any traffic issues? No, they're all small enough. People can drive around them right now and they're still blowing across the road. Okay, 911. Go ahead. Copy the last uh, from BMB. No, uh, please repeat that transmission. Along on M57, all along M57, all the way out to Irish Road, multiple tree limbs and three to four inch in diameter spread across the road on M57. And uh, that's a report from BMB. And BMB, that's still Vienna Township, correct? That's going to be Stafford Township, and actually out this far, it's probably going to be uh, Forest Township, I believe. Either Richardsville or Forest Township, I'm not sure which one. Okay, so M57 between what crosses? 
last report was 57 in Irish. I'm not sure which township it is. It's either Stafford uh, or Forest Township. You'll have to check with county. Roger that. Um, Dale, I just got a report from a caller off of the uh, 10,000 block of Genesee near uh, Mount Morris of uh, pea-sized hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Okay, you have pea-sized hail, 60 mile an hour winds. And uh, cross streets again? Uh, Genesee and Mount, Mount Morris. Severe weather net. Five. Okay, copy that. Thank you very much for that report. Uh, I see the winds outside are starting to pick up here in Flint Township as well. Again, we are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 6.30 p.m. here in Genesee County. Any reports of damage, wind gusts, and peas or any size hail or larger, and of course any funnel clouds, wall clouds, shelf clouds, them types of things will also be re appreciated. KCHZXO. WE if just to confirm the report at Genesee and Mount Morris, Genesee and Richfield, same conditions. Copy the same report for Genesee and Mount Morris, uh, Genesee and Richfield, the same conditions, correct? Roger, roger. Copy that. Thank you, sir. KCHZXO. BMZ to that. BMZ, go ahead. Just a few minutes ago, while the other report was coming in, we uh, lost power at the uh, Dalton Airport area. Copy, loss of power in the Dalton Airport area. That's in Flushing Township, correct? That would be Mount Morris Township, Pearson Road. Mount Morris Township, okay. And 911, did you copy? Roger that, that was the one that, uh, that just spoke. Copy, all right, sorry. I got a lot of things going on here, KCHCX. <laughs>
Let's just identify. Problem case eight zero zero. Just be advised, uh, things are picking up pretty heavy, pretty rapidly here. Severe weather net. Five fifty four p.m. YOB in the net. Stand by YOB. All KCAG except net control. Yeah, YOB was uh, standing by for you. County Kitty of VY. And one one, go ahead. Now, when you were on uh, Mike on uh, WPA, YOP was standing by for you. I know, I'm trying to call him right now. No be in that, just a report. Gus Front, uh, Hill and Linden. Okay, you have an estimated wind speed? 35 miles per hour. Copy that. 35 mile an hour wind gust. That's about what I got going on here, too. KCZXF. KCZXF, this is KCNGZ. I'm at Linden and Lennon, and there is a lot, a lot of leaves and stuff down. Hey, copy that. Uh, yeah, the wind has picked up in this area here in the Flint Township is where I'm located also. Thank you for your report. KD8 HQL or not? KD8 HQL, go ahead. Uh, confirming the winds, uh, 30, 35 miles an hour, Saginaw and Maple with uh, slight rotation. KD8 HQL. Okay, are you saying the slight rotation? You're seeing it in the uh, in the in the sky, uh, clouds of rotation, or are you saying the winds feel like they're rotating on the ground? Uh, seeing it in the sky. KD8 HQ. All right, we'll keep your eyes open on it and uh, keep uh, keep uh, checking it. Uh, we had had some reports of scud clouds, so make sure we're not. Uh, not seeing that. Uh, KC8 ZXF, Tennessee County Skywarn. IRG to next. IRG, go ahead. I don't know if I sound better now, but uh, I am going to confirm uh, there's widespread rotation. I'm watching the clouds spread from and rotate coming out of um, northern um, Jersey County, rotating down to the Swiss area. Okay, now uh, these rotations that we are seeing, uh, are they, is, is it the base of the cloud or are they just scud clouds forming along the base that are not connected? Now remember, they must be connected to the base of the, of the storm and not uh, free from the storm. What I'm seeing appears to be the entire storm itself rotating not scud clouds. That's what I'm that's what I'm copying in that at uh, Maple and Saginaw, too. Uh, it is the clouds, not the clouds, KD8 HQL. Okay, copy that. We have some slight rotation reported by two train spotters, one in Swartz Creek and one in would be Burton, I believe, correct? KFAUI. Burton and Grand Blank border, KD8 HQL. Copy the Burton and Grand Blank border. Uh, KFAUI, go ahead. F3 at this point, I'm looking right up into it, and it is the whole cell that is rotating. There is scud underneath it that is moving to the south, but the stuff that is fully intact is actually rotating. Uh, M Phil and 475, KFAUI. Okay, three reports from train spotters. I will pass that along to DTX. Uh, stand by, KCZX. Severe weather. Now. You know, you're going to want to let them know that there is there is scud in the bottom layer that is moving south. It is not rotating. It is the stuff above it that's in the main the main cell, and it is very wide uh, rotation, not narrow. KFAUI. Well, image 
Copy that from the back of the storm. Okay, I passed the message down to DTX. This is Genesee County Skywarn. We're under a severe thunderstorm warning until 6.30. KD-8, please. Uh, go ahead, last station. I didn't catch the call. BMB. Red BMB. Yeah, I'm here, uh, downtown Forest Township. Uh, I'm not sure on, uh, your probably main cross street's gonna be M15 and, uh, Main Street here in town. I got approximately a 24 inch in diameter tree that has broken off. Uh, the tree, tree appears to be, uh, pretty old and brittle, but it has, uh, fallen on the cable line. Uh, there is no hazard. Okay, I got that report. Stand by, guys. I have one phone call. County 911 from that. Go ahead. Just got a call from ALQ. Dorton Court. Dorton Court. There's no power in that area. Roger that. W-8-F-N-T, go ahead. Near the corner of Grand Blank and Saginaw Street in the city of Grand Blank. Uh, power out on the east side of Saginaw Street. I can also confirm the rotation um, from the Burton spotter earlier, and we have uh, straight line gusts estimated 40 miles an hour plus. Okay, we got power outage at Grand Blank, and I didn't catch the cross street, but you also were confirming rotation and straight line winds of 40 plus miles per hour. Could you give me the cross streets again? Uh, yes, just south of Grand Blank and Saginaw Street. Copy that. County 911, did you also copy the power outages? At the uh, at that last uh, check-in, Roger that. I'm uh, I'm still waiting in line to relay a message to the supervisor. There did multiple calls here. Correct. I understand totally what it's like there. <laughs> Just as long as you're writing them down so you can get them in there. KC8 ZXO. the last 
statement that came from National Weather Service. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for the central Genesee County until 6.30 p.m. At 5.53, the severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Otisville to Lennon and moving at 10 miles per hour. The hazards, 60-mile-an-hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Wind damage was reported in Otisville and flushing with these storms. The impact is hail to vehicle, hail damage to vehicles is expected and expect wind damage to roof sidings and trees. The severe thunderstorm will be near Lennon around 6 p.m., Flint around 6.10 p.m., Swartz Creek around 6.20, Davison and Burton around 6.30. Uh, the warning includes these areas surrounding these locations, Swartz Creek, Lennon, Davison, Otisville, Flushing, Burton, Mount Morris, and Flint. So this is, uh, they just updated their statement for this current warning. KCZX of Genesee County Skywarn. Severe weather net. 6.11 p.m. Okay, all stations, all stations, uh, be advised that they have canceled the warning for Genesee County. They have canceled the warning for Central Genesee County at this time. Give me a second and we'll take check-ins. Okay, for this severe thunderstorm warning of activation, we'll start again and um, take check-ins. Uh, please come now to KCHDXO. UTS. Got UTS, go ahead next. Correct? 
a couple of counties that are still under warnings that just popped up. So these storms coming through there, you know, we might want to just hold off a little bit and see if they stay together. If they go into Lansing or Shiawassee County, I guess, and um, they issue a warning for them, then we probably should stay there. If you don't mind hanging out there for a little bit, uh, I would suggest you do that. Roger that. Now, uh, I will uh, stay here until uh, I'm pulled to secure. Kenny 8 vy Hey, thanks, Tim, for your help. Okay, well, with that being said, I have 26 check-ins for this last uh, Skywarn activation, and I had, oh, I hear the weather radio going off again, upstairs, uh, looks like 18 for the one just before that, so, uh, we'll see what this next one is, hang on a minute, KCAZXF. Okay, it's for, uh, Livingston County is under a warning at this time. Okay, so thank you all for this. Uh, it looks like, like I said, we have a couple more storms that are being warned for to the west of us. These cells are still popping in across the state, and warnings are still popping up for them. But it looks like we have a little time before them cells uh, reach, possibly reach, our area. I appreciate and thank everyone's particip participation and reports. Uh, for the uh, Genesee County Skywarn activation today, and I know we are still under a watch until 9 p.m., but if things calm down before that, uh, they generally will cancel the watch early. We'll be posted on that. I'm going to bring the repeater down to a standby condition, and uh, we'll still be monitoring until they close everything down. Uh, standby, KCAZX. Weather watch. Again, we will be uh, in condition standby for a severe thunderstorm watch four or four six, which is still in effect until nine p.m. for just about. Well, right now, all of. Lower Michigan. I'm not going to read them all because there's too many counties. We will be in a standby, like I said, and uh, you may go ahead and use the repeater, but uh, just remember that uh, we may have to break in or bring up the status at any time. Again, I want to appreciate everybody's uh, help. 911 will still, still stay in at 911 for a little bit longer, so if we do have any reports that uh, come in late, there will be somebody there to take them K and relay K them on K to the 911 center. Yes. Control. Thank you all no. again. This is KC8ZXF. Conditions standby. KD8BUI, County 911 from KC8ZXF. Go ahead, ZXF. I asked uh, about the storms to our west, and National Weather Service advises you stay put. Copy. Roger that. KC ZX. I copy you. All right, man. Thanks a lot for your help. And uh, see ya. Uh, be careful leaving. Roads are kind of wet. Don't take 75 south because it's barely moving. <laughs> I take Linden Road. Yeah, I saw it coming in. It was pretty nasty. But uh, all right, we're good. Uh, Kenny and VY, I'm going to get ready to secure. All right, it's 735. Thanks a lot again. And thanks to everybody else that helped tonight. KC8ZXF, clear. I will uh, I keep it up until they drop the watch, but it sounds like that's what they're going to do. And we'll just leave everything until they do. KC8ZXF.
Weather. Watch. Condition. Green. 7.40 p.m. Full automatic operation. All right. All stations, be aware that the watch that was issued until 9 p.m. was canceled early, and everything is back to normal operations. Thanks to all for their help. Casey, the XF clear. Good job, guys. KDAPC clear.